short reloading videos, I wanted to show you how to do an annealing. And I've been trying to do it with these 223 cases to various amounts of success. Honestly, this method's a little bit difficult in my opinion with a 223 case. It's possible and I am doing it, uh, but the results aren't as good as I'd like. So I have here basically a 308 case. It's actually 7.5 by 55 Swiss. However, for all intents and purposes, it is like a 308. So I have in there enough water to cover the case head, about that much water. And that keeps the case head from getting heat treated. You don't want that. But the idea is blow torch like so, round and round until the case kind of gets a little bit pink. You can use this head to knock it over or you can knock it over with a pencil. I usually use like a pencil or a screwdriver or something to that effect. But here we go. You can do this oh, back to back to back. Just leave the cases laying in the water. Uh, that won't hurt them. The quench does not affect the brass at all. It's not steel where that gets affected by quench. Okay, here we go. So the lights are low. I'm looking for um, pink. The, the case, you know, generally supposed to kind of like glow a little bit pink. What we're going for is that finish you see on like a pervy partisan case where they got that really cool annealing look to them. So here we go, we're getting close. Boom. All right, let's turn this off. And let's take a look at our case. You can't over anneal it doing this method because like there's no such really thing as over anneal. Um, over anneal would be damaging the case head by annealing it, you don't want that. But you can see maybe this line right here, let me get my pencil. Above this line, you see a different color. This has been annealed. Has it been annealed enough? I don't know. But I know that I didn't damage my case because the water is preventing the case head area from being annealed, all right? You can under anneal and what will happen is your case will still have stress in it and it might, it might um, get a, um, a crack up here when you shoot it, you know? You might split the neck. Okay, well that case is junk. Um, you can get the temp, the temp lac or temp or whatever, um, grease stuff that changes colors and you can practice this because once you're rolling the amount of time, when I did this a lot with like 30 out six, I knew it was like 12 times. I grabbed this five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Boom. I knew it was basically done. And of course I visually inspected it for the same look. But when I laid out my, my cases, I had like 40 of them. They were pretty consistent. So this method works really well. I use the yellow because it's hotter. You can use the blue because as you saw, my, my torch is not very hot. I'm, <laughs> I'm working in a small area. And when you're done with a lot of these, this water will actually be a little warmer. But that's how you do it. Um, there's many other methods, but this one's pretty easy.